Ah, ancient cores. You guys know that they are really hard to come by. They are really rare. And I actually have 34 of those. So that makes me 34 more times rare than all of you. <laughs> no, but, you know, you see these 34? Well, we're actually going to be doing something really stupid. We're going to be st spending them to make us ancient battle axes. And then to break your guys' heart, I'm going to use all of those ancient battle axes. And I'm going to... Throw them at a silver lino and kill them with only this certain amount. And this, this worked out pretty well because you only need 17 to take it out with the guardian attack buff and with the food buff. Now, the reason I'm, you can you can do this with the savage lino crusher and the food buff only. But the thing is, you would need, I believe... Um, I think you actually need only 16 of them, but they all have to be the attack of 30. And you know how hard it is to find even one of these? So the reason I'm doing this, just making the uh, doing the ancient battle act or the ancient battle, the ancient blade saw, I believe, is because it's more uh, right now. That's the fastest one that I can do, and it's pretty achievable because I have the I already have the necessary um, tools to make it, so I can make this pretty quick, and. We only need 17. Now, I'll demonstrate, you know, I'm going to go ahead and save. So I'm going to do some damage testing so you guys can see what I, why I, I mean that we only need 17. And after we do that, then I will get to the actual video. So right now, we'll just go ahead and make 17 of those so that way I can break your guys' heart. Spending all those ancient cores for nothing, but it's for the sake of the video. So as you see, I have just blown all of my ancient cores on 17 of the ancient blade saws. So now we'll go ahead and get into the uh, video demonstration. Oh, I guess I should have saved. Well, I'll save right now. No, actually, no. I don't want to save because then I'll save having wasted all those ancient cores. So, yeah, let's see. Um, How am I going to do this? Okay. I'll reload the file that I saved right before this when we're actually going to take out the silver lino. So, right now we're just going to be doing some, we're going to, I'm going to find me a lino and we're going to do some basic testing.
Okay, so we've made our way over to a uh, line now. Now, the thing with the throwing weapons is that it doubles the damage that it does upon breaking. So, if that's true, then this 55 blade saw will do a damage, a total damage of 110. Okay, so its health is now at 4,890, so indeed it does do 110 damage. Now, if you don't know the, or, you know, I guess if you've seen my previous video, then you know that the, uh, the, guar the ancient guardian armor gives an 80% affinity, uh, affinity, I'm thinking this is Monster Hunter, an 80% attack increase to all guardian weapons. So with the Guardian, uh, the Ancient Blade Saw, with an 80% increase in attack, we so we get a total of, let me do the, calcula the calculations real quick. So 80. Okay, so we get a total of 99, um, you know, a, a 99 attack, and that's just, and that's not even throwing the weapon. So we'll go ahead and give one throw at the line now and see how much damage that does with the Guardian um, armor equipped. Okay, so now it is at 46.92, and we were at 48.90. So 48.90 minus, how much were we at? 46.92. So that gives us a grand total of 198 damage. Now let's go ahead and tack on the, uh, the food buff with the guardian armor and see how much damage that does. Okay, so we brought its health down from 46.92 to... Let me get another quick glance at it. To 43.96. And so that right there is a total damage of 296. So if we go ahead, that's the highest we can get. So we'll go ahead and um, divide 5,000 by 296. So that is roughly 16.89. So rounded up, it is 17 um, blade saws that we need to throw to be able to take down a silver lino at maximum health. So let me redo the whole, let me uh, reload my file make them again and then go ahead and show you guys uh being able to take down a silver liner with only weapon throws now like i said you can do this with no armor but you would have to have um 16 i believe of the savage lionel crushers maximum attack and good luck finding those because that is just ridiculously hard. So, I mean, if you guys have the actual patience to find all of those Lionel, the maximum attack uh, Lionel crushers, go ahead. 
But I'm just simply making this video to show that you can indeed take down a silver line with weapon throws only. But that's with the aid of attack uh, armor buffs and the food buffs. Now, either way, you're going to have to use an attack buff because the Savage Lionel Crusher, you're going to have to use the attack buff also from the food. So either way, it's not doable by, you know, you would have to have at least two pages of weapon inventory, like melee weapon inventory. You would need at least two full pages, 20. So you need 40 um, available slots to be able to take it down with no armor, none of that stuff. But anyways, let me go ahead and make all these blade saws and then we'll get into the actual taking down the savage lineup with only weapon throws. And that, my friends, is how you obtain 17 ancient blade saws. <laughs> so let's make our way over to the silver line now. Okay, so now we're going to take our attack buff and then we're actually going to take down the silver lino. So if you guys do enjoy this video, consider subscribing or possibly leaving a like. All support really does help me out in the long run and I really do appreciate it. Now, I know this isn't, you know, like I said, like in the previous video, it isn't anything special. But it's, it's just to show that it is indeed um, doable to, be take, to take down a silver lino with only weapon throws. But the thing is, you have to use armor buffs and attack food buffs. So without further ado, let's just get into the fight. Oh! 
Okay, so as you saw, I tried to do something really fancy, but it did not work out. I was just trying to do, I was trying to um, do a finishing blow with the uh, throwing the weapon midair, but that didn't work out. So we'll just go ahead and take it out. It is my pleasure. So that, you guys, is how you can take down a silver lino with only doing weapon throws. And again, I only used the ancient blade saws because it was readily accessible to me. And I had the, the, uh, you know, the correct amount to make the number that I needed. So you need the guardian armor and you need the high level attack food buff to be able to take it down with only 17 of them. Now, you can do this also with the ancient battle axes. And um, I, I'm assuming you need less because these come with base 60. So that plus that extra five damage, I think, will save you either one or two. But the ancient battle axes, you have to farm at a major test of strength shrines. So, I mean, you can do that if you want to. Like I said, I just did this because it was more readily accessible to me. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. I know, like I said, it wasn't anything interesting, but it was just, you know... I wanted to see if it was possible, and it indeed is possible, but no armor, nothing like that, definitely not possible because you do not have enough weapon slots to do it. If you had maybe two pages, 40 weapon slots, you could definitely do it, but as it is right now, it is not doable no matter what. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, consider subscribing or possibly leaving a like. All support really does help me out in the long run, and I really do appreciate it. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.